Okay, so we're going to start our standardization procedure. So if you remember, we're going to actually determine the concentration of our base, which is sodium hydroxide in this case, by using a known quantity of sodium hydrogen, potassium, sorry, hydrogen sal um, salate. And this is potassium hydrogen salate. So we're going to actually use one gram of this acid. And we're going to use this analytical electronic balance to determine the, the weight of our acid. So this is slightly different from the electronic balance that I had used in a previous um, video. This one gives a more accurate measurement of the, sum, of the um, substance that we're trying to weigh. So the first thing we're going to do is actually to um, weigh out our potassium hydrogen salate, and I'm just going to use KHP to, um, so when I say that, you know I'm talking about the acid. So the first thing, as I um, had mentioned before, you want to make sure that your balance is on. It's on here. And then what we're going to do in this case Instead of weighing or weigh boat, so we're using the weigh boat in order to um, do our measurements, we're going to actually zero or tear with the weigh boat already on our balance. And when we do this, we are only going to get the weight. The weight that you record will therefore just be the weight of the KHP that we're trying to measure. So we put our boat on the pan, we press the zero or the tear button, and the important thing to note here is when you put your weigh boat on the pan to weigh or to get it um, to the zero point, you have to make sure you close these doors because that's the only way you're going to get the most ac accurate measurement. And when the screen shows an asterisk plus a gram present, then you know that you have um, the, 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 the mass that you see recorded is the correct one. So I'm going to start by weighing out one gram of potassium hydrogen salate or KHP. And again, I close the two doors to make sure. So right now, I am going to record a mass of 1.003, sorry, 1.004 actually, because on the screen it's displaying 1.0038 grams. So if I round it up to the nearest decimal point, it's going to be 1.004 grams. So that's the mass of water, of, I'm um, sorry, of, of KHP that I'm going to be using. So um, here I have measured 30 mils of distilled water. I'm going to add that to a 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask. And I'm going to try to get as much of my KHP crystals in this um, early in my flask as possible. So I bend my bolt here to make sure to guide the crystals into the early in my flask. So I gently put the crystals in and I swirl in order to dissolve the KHP into the water. And you continue to swirl until everything has 
dissolved. Also, you have left back a little bit into the boat, so you need to make sure that you get everything. So I'm going to take, when this is dissolved sufficiently, I'm going to take a little bit of the KHP solution, put it back into my weighing boat, and using a tr transfer pipette, try to get as much of the crystal as possible out of here, back into the, um, the tube or the flask. So I use, this is, this is a clean transfer pipette, so you make sure it's clean. You take up some of the solution, put it in your bowl to rinse it so that you can get as much of the solid as possible out. And if you want accuracy in your data, it's best to do this so that your readings won't be too far apart from each other. So when I'm done, I try to suck as much of the solution back into my Erlenmeyer flask. And I mix again because I still see some crystals. So you try to mix until all your crystals have dissolved into the water. So now I've successfully dissolved my KHP into my water and I'm now ready to do my titration.